Hi, I'm Kier McLaren. A little bit about myself. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and back in those days I used to play a little football, high school football and such, and I think it was there that I first learned about mentoring and you know being taught by someone who knew more than me and I was fortunate to have a really good person. You know, from there I went to a couple colleges and I've done a lot of things in my life. I've sort of reinvented myself a number of times. I started off as a social worker on the inner city playgrounds and then I worked for the boys club and I ran day camps for OEO for the government. Um, Later on, I moved to New England, and I was on the radio, as they say. And from there, because the money's so bad to be on the radio, I decided I needed to do something different, and I started an ad agency. And I've always been a writer. I, I wrote, I think the first little poem I wrote was published in a little newspaper in the town I grew up in. I was about 14. And then I was fortunate enough to get published in Harper's Magazine. And I found out about screenwriting, which I didn't know much about. So I was living in New England at the time, and I went to Boston, and I took some lessons, some classes on screenwriting. And then I flew out here to Los Angeles and took some classes. And I was told that I had, you know, some talent. And it was suggested that if I really wanted to try that profession, I needed to move out here. And I did. I took classes at UCLA in different places. Actually got a writing partner, optioned a screenplay that never got made, which is pretty typical for here. And I realized I really couldn't make a living at it. I mean, I could sell a screenplay now and again. And I also realized there were a lot of people here that were just better than I was at it. And I've always had that ability to recognize, you know, what my limitations are. I realized in the advertising business, working with a lot of small clients, I had actually in spite of myself, learned a great deal about what it's like to run a business and the ups and downs and so on and so forth. Uh, so I started to be a consultant. The one thing I learned early on about small businessmen or women, they don't really have anyone to talk to about the real issues. And so as they began to know me and trust me, they began to talk to me about many things that weren't directly re related to advertising. You know, their staffs, their family lives, you know, how they handle problems. And I've always been a pretty good problem solver. I often tell people that when you work in the ghetto in your life and everybody's life is on the line, you, you know, you learn how to solve problems pretty quickly or, or you just don't, you don't last. So compared to the problems I was used to solving every day, you know, on the streets, uh, their problems were pretty simple. Over the years, uh, I did a good enough job that people would refer me to friends. And then at one point, uh, I got referred uh, by someone into what I'll call loosely the entertainment business. And from there, for the last 15 years or so, I've worked for people like Chris Doe and, and many others. Uh, that are in the creative businesses. So that, that's kind of how I learned it, from them. Everything I teach, I learn from someone else. I, I tease my clients and say, what well, I just learned from you at 11 o'clock, I'm gonna sell to the next person at one. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be doing a mindset series with Kier McLaren, and this was a little video introduction to who Kier is. In the coming weeks, we're gonna be talking about things like the scarcity mindset, facing your fears, and your own personal operating system. This guy is full of amazing wisdom, so make sure you come back, make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you soon.